Spring is underway and it's finally time to tackle this major home redecoration project. Over the next two weeks, this living room and dining room is going to transform into a Montessori kid-friendly learning space, as well as providing some functional storage for mom and dad. Last week, we got the garage in order and the week before that, we decluttered the boys' area to prepare for this project. Before we get started with the next step, let me give you a quick tour of what it looks like now and then I'll share with you my vision for the transformation. First, let's talk about the problems we're encountering right now and why we need to restructure this space. So we have a small house, it's about 1400 square feet and we have 18 month old twin toddlers. And as any parent knows, once you have kids, their stuff tends to just like overtake the house. Now we've been pretty deliberate with the amount of toys and stuff that we've added, but we still are feeling very, very crowded. Hopefully we're gonna be buying a house in the next year or two, but in the meantime, we have to get this house streamlined and organized. So here is what needs to change. First off, this dining room area needs to be completely repurposed. We need to get rid of a bunch of furniture. We need to add some storage options and it needs to become a space where the kids can really play. I'm, I'm thinking about getting some kind of like, I don't know, play gym, toddler sized something for them to climb on. They're in their climbing phase and they're just climbing all over stuff they're not supposed to be climbing on. So I think this would be a good area to create kind of like a little play room-esque type space. Next, we have the other side of the room, which is our living room area. Right now it has a play pen in it, but what I need to do is get some storage for the boys' books. So some kind of like mini floor level bookshelf for them and I would also like to create a reading nook. Instead of having this playpen here, having some kind of area where they can come over and read their books. That also frees up space for me to be able to start doing my weight training workouts using the TV again. I had to stop doing that because their playpen is in the way and I didn't wanna lug it out of the way every time I was doing my workouts. So that will be nice as well. We're gonna reorganize a few things in the kitchen and come up with some kind of cool dining space in there as well as changing around some of the storage. And finally, one of the most fun parts is the decorative part. We're gonna have to go and find some rugs, some different decor for this area, make it kid friendly, but also beautiful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the process and see the end result. So let's get started. I need to get a bunch of this furniture out of here and then do a quick deep clean of the baseboards and the floor. Crazy to have all the furniture out of here. I have so much more room and it echoes so much more. <laughs> now I need to clean these baseboards. I have never cleaned these baseboards. Uh, one time 
Max spilled a bunch of my coffee out of my coffee cup and got it behind the little side table and I had to clean it there. But other than that, these haven't been cleaned in the entire time I've been around, which is since 2018, so. Um, yeah, they're gross. Baseboards are clean, or at least as clean as they're going to be, because we're gonna be putting up a whole new piece of furniture here. Let me go out to the garage so I can show you what it is. These are the Hofsta shelves from Ikea. We went there, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago and saw these. I wanted to get them in the dark brown color, but it was so dark, it looked like it was black. So instead we decided to go with a light gray. I think it'll match the living room, dining room area pretty well. And I think it will hide scuffs and dirt. You know, kids, they're gross. So let's see if we can not assemble these. They are Ikea, so it could be one of two ways. Either it's gonna be super easy to put together or it's gonna be unbelievably hard. Let's find out. Oh shit. Whoopsies. Oh, that was really heavy. <laughs> I probably should have waited to have Gorn come home and do that, but whatever, it's in. Let's just hope we didn't break anything. <laughs> Looks like I need to fetch a blanket. Thanks. Everything is laid out, so now I'm gonna Tetris this thing together and I'll get back to you in T minus two seconds. My brain is completely fried and I can't seem to get these stupid doors correct. So I'm going to revisit this in the morning when I feel a bit more fresh. It's the next morning and try as I may, uh, I can't get these stupid doors right. So we're just gonna table that and I'm going to try to assemble as many bookshelves as humanly possible. How good this looks. Ah, it's like a dream come true. I can't actually like leave the books there in their final resting place because we really need to secure these to the wall. And to do that, we're gonna need to do a little bit of uh, construction work, but I'm loving the way this looks. I've always wanted a library in my house and now I have one. <laughs> it's a dream come true. Okay. 
I'm very interested to see how much weight these shelves can hold. They are, I think, rated to like 75 pounds a shelf, but we have a lot of books. But now that I have, you know, individual shelves, it's not going to be as much weight per shelf. We'll see. baseboards so that we can get the shelves closer to the wall. We need to attach some brackets to the bookshelves to keep them from flipping over on the children. And this will help us to do that. complete. All of my books are loaded up. I'm loving the way it looks. Top half is storage for all of our books. And the bottom half has these like open little shelves. Each one of those is going to have an activity for the boys. I know right now they're only 18 months old, so they're probably just going to throw all this crap all around the house. But in the future, <laughs> they are going to have, you know, a tray, an activity, and they'll learn how to put it on and off the shelf. We'll see what happens. I don't know. It could always just be chaos. Anyways, everything has a home now. Mm, I love it. Next steps. We have a ton of stuff left to do in this living room. We need to fix some lighting. We need to buy some more furniture and a ton of decor items. So next week is going to be a shop with me video. I'm going to take you all around town and we're going to figure out some of that stuff and hopefully then we can get it installed, get it bought, you know. You know how this stuff works, it, it takes some time. Plus, I need to like look for stuff so I can see what fits the feel. Like I have an idea in my head, but until I see the particular items or pieces of furniture, I'm not really gonna know, you know, is this, is this what this space needs? So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber to this channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find it. And I will see you next week.